Sorry. When I have unlimited screens, I forget to eat and I feel this flicker of light inside of me. It just makes me go into a mode that most people won't feel. It's like a fire inside of me. At the same time, I feel out of control. Now, I have limited screen time when I do have screens. Having limited screen time makes me feel better about myself. When I say that, I mean I feel confident. I am one of my fourth American child. I struggle with screen addiction. The average American spends 24 hours a week online. That's a whole day. This information comes from the Digital Future Project, which is a study on the impact of digital technology on Americans. Children between the ages of 8 and 12 are spending an average of 6 hours a day on a screen. Now, one in every four children struggle with screen addiction. Screens have engulfed the world. Signs of screen addiction include having no control over screens, loss of interest, preoccupying thoughts, less socialization, arguments with family, withdrawing, tolerance decreasing, being deceptive, and using screens as mood boosters. American Academy of Pediatrics says that older children should spend no more than an average of one to two hours a day on a screen. Studies show a link between ADHD, anxiety, depression, and screen addiction. Screen addiction also changes kids' brains the same way drugs do. Doctors don't give a clinical diagnosis for screen addiction. This means that they don't recognize it as a true addiction just yet. They call it an attachment. This can make it difficult if kids need serious help. In conclusion, how do kids like me get help if we now use screens for school? What if you want a phone for safety? Parents should stop giving screens just for fun, but as a reward. In restaurants and in the car, try playing games like Connect the Dot and I Spy. Try not to spend time on a screen. Take more walks and maybe have a family fun night. Practice a little for your soccer game that's coming up. Kids, it's important to talk to your parents if you feel that you have a problem. If you need to, they'll take you to a doctor or a therapist. Remember, you're not alone. Others struggle too. Thank you.